going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mid-Level Media. And it is the most wonderful time of the year, guys. The most, I'm not going to break out in the song, okay? It's not Christmas time, but it is Kino Lorber sale time. And to me, that's the next best thing. So I am super excited for this sale. I haven't really even dove into the prices and what's included in this sale. Just know that with the Kino Lorber sales, guys, they do not put everything in their catalog on sale. It is only select titles, but they have chosen 700 of their Blu-rays and 4Ks to include in this sale. And from what I'm seeing on the top, there's some good stuff here. But before we get into it, guys, hit the like button for me. Hit the subscribe button for me if you haven't already. We do tons of physical media-based content on this channel. Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me every single day. If you like that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. And also comment down below, guys, have you dove into the Kino Lorber uh, sale? This is the spring into summer sale. This is the second sale um, of 2024. Now, they usually do four sales. Not saying they're going to do it this year or they're going to do it every year, but usually since I've been following Kino Lorber and their sales for the past four years, four times a year we get these sales. We get one in spring, we get one in summer, we get one in the fall, and we get one um, in winter. So Kino Lorber is good about their sales, but guys, I love the Kino Lorber sales first and foremost, because you're getting a great product. You're getting some really good movies. I love the selection of Kino Lorber. They have such a diverse catalog and there's so many great movies, uh, to choose from, but they're, they're so cheap. They're cheap. They're affordable. They actually feel like they're giving you a deal. They actually feel like it's a sale. Like a lot of these labels out there, guys, cough, cough, vinegar syndrome. Um, you got you got freaking shout factory. Um, criterion, criterion sale is is starting today. Their sales, yes, their sales because their releases are usually like 40 to 50 bucks, and they can get away with selling a 4K for $35 and calling it a sale. But with Kino Lorber, like their releases are usually like 26, 27. And in the sale, guys, you can get a lot of these 4Ks for 17, 18 bucks. You'll see when I get into it. You can get a lot of these Blu-rays for $10. Some of them you can get for $8. There's titles as low as $4.99 is what they're saying right there. These feel like sales. You can stock up. Like I've gotten like 11 or 12 titles before from Kino Lorber, and I didn't even spend $100. Like it's that kind of a sale. Whereas you, if you try to do that on any other sale, like Vinegar Syndrome sale, like I, I they just had the halfway to Black Friday sale. I got like five or six titles. I think I spent like $150 or something, something ridiculous like that. So it's like, yeah, it's a sale, um, you know, when you compare it to the normal prices, but they just don't feel like sales because your your wallet's still empty when it's over. Like, you know, Lorber, you can spend a lot, you can you can buy a lot of stuff and still feel like you got enough money left over uh, to get some of the new releases that you want that's coming out next week or in a couple of weeks or whatever. But I'm done rambling, guys. I just wanted to, I just like to emphasize how good these sales are, but you guys will see it when we get into it. Let me uh, make this screen a little bit bigger. Um, so this sale, it just started uh, today as I'm filming this, but as I put this video up, I'm going to put it up on Friday. It started yesterday at noon. I actually put up a post in my community tab. So definitely be paying attention to my community tab on my YouTube page. Um, cause I try to keep you guys up to date on all the sales and, and Amazon sales and, and Kino Lorber sales and Criterion sales and all that stuff, guys. I try to keep you up to date over on, uh, the community tabs to so check that out. But it started yesterday at noon and it goes until July the 22nd. So we've got a while, we've got a while to take part in this sale. That's probably going to be, um, on a Monday, I would say July the 20th. It usually ends on a Monday, but let me just start getting into these titles. I have filtered, uh, the 4Ks, because I like to go through the 4Ks first, and then we will circle around and go through the Blu-rays. And I've got these lowest to high. Uh, so right here, guys, you can see Rawhead Rex. And I usually, guys, if it has the slipcover on it in the image, that means um, it'll have the slipcover when it's shipped to you. Now, these that don't have slipcovers probably are don't have them anymore. They're probably out of print, uh, which makes sense, because a lot of these titles right here, they're great titles, but they've been out for quite, a, quite some time. So... Uh, but Rawhead Rex, that one just came out, I believe, this year back in February. Uh, that's $14.99, guys. That is a $14.99 4K of Rawhead Rex. I have, I still haven't seen the movie. Maybe it's trash. I don't know. I've heard a lot of people like it. Um, but it's $14.99. $14.99 for, for a 4K of Rawhead Rex. You got Mad Max. That was one of the first 4Ks I ever did. $17.99. Good, the Bad, the Ugly, $17.99. Misery, $17.99. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, $17.99. Uh, we got The Apartment for $17.99. These are great movies, guys. Great movies. The Apartment, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. 
they actually had the entire dollars trilogy, which I, I'm going to do some like separate recommendation videos based on the titles that they have on sale. Um, but I will say the dollars trilogies, uh, the dollar trilogy on 4k from Kino Larber is top tier recommendations. I think that they are all great. They look great on 4k and I love the movies. Um, in the heat of the night is also a great release. Eastern promises is a great release. Um, the apartment, I still have not watched my 4k of the apartment. Misery is a great release. It's a great movie. Eternal sunshine. Um, the one thing I'll say about eternal sunshine, I wasn't as impressed with the 4k of that one. Um, if you have the Blu-ray, you're probably okay. I don't think you have to spend $17.99 on it. But if you just love the movie that much, you want a 4K, um, you probably already got it by now. But if you haven't got it yet, it, it is in the sale, $17.99. Tropic Thunder is a top-tier recommendation. I love this movie, um, but it looks great on 4K. It really does. Like A lot of people say they don't need comedies on 4K. I get that. But Tropic Thunder is a war movie slash comedy and the war sequences and the fire and the explosions and the jungle setting that just looks immaculate. Just looks so freaking good with the HDR in 4K. I believe it has Dolby Vision as well. Um, Kino had a little bit of a rocky start with 4K because they were they didn't start to include like HDR and Dolby Vision, I feel like, until a little bit later um, in, in their run. But their first early 4K still looked good. Um, but yeah, Tropic Thunder is a top tier Kino Lover recommendation. We got in Bruges on 4K, a $17.99 decent proposal. I just watched that recently. The 4K was really uh, nice on that one. I didn't love the movie. I thought it was a really good movie, though. Uh, the score on 4K is $17.99. I've got that. I haven't watched it. Uh, Dress to Kill. I love Dress to Kill. That's a great Brian De Palma movie. Uh, definitely looked phenomenal on 4K as well. So that's a high recommendation. High Plains Drifter. Haven't watched that one yet, but that's on 4K and Blu-ray, $9.99. Uh, what did I say? Nine ninety nine, uh, nine ninety nine, and seventeen ninety nine. Mystery Men, top tier recommendation. Love this movie, seventeen ninety nine, and that four K from memory looked astounding. So that's a that's a high recommendation as well. Twelve Anger Men is quite simply one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. That's a timeless film, and the four K looks great. And with that one, you actually get a bonus movie. Um, you get the remake, you get the one, remake directed by William Freakin. So that's definitely worth it. $17.99 for the 4k of that. And I didn't note this, but going up to in the heat of the night, that has two extra movies in it. I think that has the two sequels in that franchise. Um, call me Mr. Tibbs. And I can't remember the, the other one, but that's three movies in that set for $17.99. Uh, the train I actually still need the train. I don't know if I'm going to get the train right now, but because I have the Blu-ray of it. Um, even though I know the 4K probably looks great, it's in black and white, it probably looks astounding, but I don't know if I, I need it at this time, so I, did, I never got it. Um, Serpico, I haven't watched that, I need to watch that. Longest Yard looked great on 4K, Night of the Hunter looked fantastic on 4K. I haven't watched my Ronin yet. Red Dragon's a really good 4K, I really like that one. Um, Cujo is, is a great 4K, but the thing about Cujo that makes it even, even greater is the fact that it has all the special features from that Eureka edition that came out, I believe, overseas in the UK. It would have had to have, right? It's Eureka in the, in the UK. They only recently started the US, but they included uh, all those Eureka special features. So I thought that was really cool um, of them to do. So yeah, the 4K of that is $17.99. Um, great stuff in here, guys. Kindergarten Cop. I love that movie so much, and that's a great 4K as well. Leviathan is a great 4K. Um, these ones down here at the bottom, I don't have a lot of these in my collection. These are the ones that I'm looking at, looking to get in this sale, uh, cause I missed out on them. That's the thing guys with Kino. It's almost like criterion. I almost have the same mindset where I don't pick up the key, the Kinos on day one usually. Um, but there are some that I do like Crybaby, and I did grab Leviathan early as well because I do want those slips and I don't want to run the risk of, of those slips right now. But I try to pay attention to the titles that I feel like are going to sell well and if I don't think they're going to sell well and they'll maintain their slips for a few months until the next keynote sale, I will wait. So um, a lot of these I haven't gotten yet. Uh, Gunfight, the OK Corral I need. High Noon I need. Uh, Changing Lanes I did want to get. Manchurian Candidate Remake I wanted to get. Paint Your Wagon. Uh, North Dallas 40. I can't get all of these, so I'll probably hold off on those for a little bit later. But these are some uh, really great 4K editions right here. This is a really good selection, guys. They got Touch of Evil as well. That's a little bit more expensive. Uh, $23.99 for that. And the reason for that is because that is a three disc set. And I think it has multiple cuts and a lot of special features. So 
That's why that one's a little bit more expensive. You got Tchaikovsky's Nostalgia. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, but some good stuff, guys. Let's let's go up here. And uh, But yeah, what I was going to say, guys, is I'll wait for these sales to pick up these 4K titles, and I will stock up, and I will get them for a full $10 cheaper than they would have been if they came out. And the Blu-rays, like I really wait for the Blu-rays. Uh, because those will be g going down from $18 to $10. In some cases, $8. Like I've grabbed a lot of those little insect horror movies, Ants and, and Terror in the Sky and all that stuff, for like $8 bucks, um, in the sale. But let's let's filter uh, Blu-rays only. Do I want to go? I'm going to go high. Well, no. I don't know what I'm going to do with Blu-ray. Let's just go back to the beginning, and we'll include the 4Ks again. I'm going to go A to Z. Uh, two days in the valley, guys. Two days in the valley. Get this movie, nine ninety nine. It's so worth it. The, the features are great. It's a four K scan. That is a great addition. I really enjoy that movie. And for nine ninety nine, that's an absolute steal for two days in the valley. Um, and scrolling down, guys. Look, I'm just gonna let you guys check these out. Um, I can't go over everything because there's there's hundreds of releases to get into. Uh, but we got ants nine ninety nine. Uh, American Ninja 2. A lot of these I picked up in past sales, but the selection is always really good. Um, they got a lot of these these cool box sets, Audie Murphy box sets. If you're into those those older films, Backtrack with with Jodie Foster, um, Clint Eastwood, The Beguiled. You got Mel and Goldie with with Mel Gibson and Goldie Hawn. The Big Bus. I do want the Big Bus. The Big Bus is eight ninety nine. So that's an example of a Blu Ray that's a little bit cheaper. Best of Times is on here with Kurt Russell and Robin Williams. I haven't watched that yet, but I'm sure it's, I'm sure, I mean, it's got those two in it. Like those are two legends in the same movie that, that blows my mind. Um, that's nine 99. We go over to page two, um, black moon rising blind fury. So you got some good stuff here, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to go in, in depth on all of these. I did that on the four K's, but to be honest, I watch more of my four K's from Kino than I do my Blu-rays. Uh, but they got Broken Flowers right here. That's a Bill Murray in it for $9.99. They got uh, Ryan Johnson's Brick right here for $9.99. That's a pretty cool movie. Uh, Burnt Offerings is here. Career Opportunities is here. Um, See Candy is here. That's $9.99. I could have sworn I got that in a past sale for like five bucks. Uh, so that, they raised the price on that one for this sale. Um, Christmas in July. So you got some Christmas movie. Cool as ice, guys. You can't pass that up for $9.99. Cool as ice. Coogan's Bluff. So yeah, Crooklyn's on here, guys. Usually I have a good amount of Spike Lee in these sales. Um, you got Crackers with Donald Sutherland. I mean, if you want to stock up on some Don Donald Sutherland since he recently passed away. But um, let's see. Custody, Decab with Mr. T. We got some of these Kino Cults collection uh, releases, Dark Power. Um, I started to collect for that line, but I was just like, this line is not for me. Uh, once they released like the, the, the fifth Jess Franco movie, I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Uh, but now that they got some cool ones coming, like Frogs and, and all, I'll, I'll probably end up getting those, but uh dragnet they got dragnet that's the older version of dragnet they got drifter that's another kino cult i don't know what that is um let's see edge of the world i think that came out recently uh some more clint eastwood stuff i mean kino if you like clint eastwood like kino is your spot um the experts with john travolta is in this sale and most of these blu-rays guys i'm not really calling it out but they're they're mostly 9.99 but you will get some like fast charlie right here which is 7.49 so you'll get some that are a little bit cheaper uh final cut this was the was this the france uh remake of one cut of the dead i think is is what that was the french remake um the first beautiful thing okay fistful of dynamite this is the one i was looking for this is what i want this is a sergio leone film um i passed on it because i knew they were going to do the sale soon so i passed on it um, and now I'm definitely going to get it. I didn't pass on the Fletch movies. I picked those up when they came out and I should have because they're both in the sale for 1099. So you didn't get the Fletch movies. You're going to be rewarded here in the sale. Uh, but I am going to pick up a fistful of dynamite for sure. For sure. Sergio Leone. I think, did he only do five Westerns? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think I heard he only did five Westerns. Uh, the dollar trilogy fistful and dynamite and once upon a time in the West, but I got to get that one. Cause I haven't seen that one yet. Um, 
let's see, four daughters, Gambit. I, I do kind of want to get Gambit. I like Shirley MacLaine. I like Michael Caine. Um, that one still has a slipcover. That one's been out for a couple of years, I think, as well. Um, Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. I've heard good things about that movie, so maybe I need to get that at some point. They got some Chuck Norris stuff in here. Uh, Grand Slam. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Half Baked. That's a, I haven't watched that in a while, but I remember loving that movie. I do already have it in the collection though. Uh, Happy Birthday to Me came out recently. Um, let's see. Let's keep going over. I'm happy they got that fistful of dynamite. That that's like one of the main ones I wanted to get from the sale. Um, if they don't have too much though, I might, I might try to take it easy this sale. I'll be honest guys. I've got so many keynotes back there. I need to watch. Um, there are three or four 4Ks I want and also that Fistful of Dynamite, but I don't need to stock up on a bunch of Blu-rays um, of more movies to add to the collection that I haven't seen yet. I'm Dangerous Tonight. That's a Toby Hooper movie, I'm pretty sure. Um, I do have that one. Um, so yeah, you got a good, nice, good selection here. Some more Clint Eastwood stuff. Joy House. I think I got that one not too long ago. Uh, Kolchak, the Night Stalker, they got that. That's a whole season of television. So that's why that's a little bit more expensive. $39.99 for that, um, which I do have that already. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Lion in the Winter, Lincoln Conspiracy, Little Sister, Long Riders, some more Westerns. I need to get, I need to stock up with some more Westerns. Oh, they do have Lorna of the Exorcist, guys. That's the first in the Kino, the Kino cult line. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to see it making Mr. Right. I'm trying to see if anything sticks out to me. I know we're going to hit all those film noir box sets if they have those this time, but they do have Metropolis on here. That's the cheapest I've ever seen Metropolis. That's a Fritz Lang film uh, from the 20s, and that is $12.99. I, I think I picked that up in a sale before for like $17.99 in a sale. So that's the cheapest I've ever seen Metropolis. So maybe jump on that if you haven't already. Um, the Minus Man with Owen Wilson. I might get that. I might get that. Um, trying to pick out some Blu-rays to get. I had it in my head. I wanted to get three 4Ks and three Blu-rays and keep the cost at like 80 bucks uh, and not go to $100 to sale. All right. So let's see. They got the Night Gallery seasons on here, guys. If you if you wanted to stock up on those, I mean, season one is $17.99. Season two, I imagine, is a little bit longer, $34.99. And season three is $17.99. Um, Night of the Hunter as well, guys. That, that is a top recommendation. I don't know if I mentioned that when I was going through the 4Ks. I can't remember. Um, we got some more. They got a lot of classic films, guys. A lot of classic films, but they got some cool films as well. I just like the selection from Kino. I'm not seeing a ton of horror this time around. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention to it. They got Play Misty for me, um, but that's supposed to be getting a 4K. Oh, The Pit. I got to get The Pit, guys. Every single sale, it's like a, a running gag at this point. Uh, people are like, you need to get the pit can. I actually did a poll when I did this live and people voted for me to not get the pit. So I didn't get the pit. And it's just been a long running thing that people want me to get the pit, but I haven't gotten the pit. And maybe I need to get the pit. Let me know in the comment section below. Do I need to get the pit? Let me know. They got the quest though. Maybe I should not get the pit and get the quest. If you want a Rawhead Rex steelbook, they got it for $9.99. And that is the only steelbook I've ever seen Kino do. They could have done some other stuff, but that's the only one I've seen. They got Rent a Cop for $9.99, Burt Reynolds. Um, let's see. We got two. Oh, no, we got more than two more pages. How many pages we got to go through? The Screaming Woman. Secret Admirer. That is a really fun movie, guys. Eight forty nine. dollars That's a John Hughes-type film from the 80s. It's got Kelly Preston in it. C. Thomas Howell, it's got uh, Fred Ward, it's got D. Wallace, it's got Lori Lachlan in it. The cast is great. To me, guys, like I would rather watch Secret Admirer than some of the uh, the John Hughes movies that everybody loves, like 16 Candles and Pretty in Pink. I think it's a better movie. Um, it's it's really raunchy, too. Like Kelly Preston, I, look, I don't want to be crass here, but she she gets a little naked in the movie. Um, it's It's really good, though. It's a funny movie. And it's just a fun, like, teen movie from the 80s. I think it came out in 1985, but it's really good. I promise you, you will like it if you like those, like, teen 80s movies, like the John Hughes types movies. And that's only A49, and it looks like you'll still get a slipcover. So that's a top recommendation for me. Secret Admirer. 
Uh, Secret of My Success. Speaking of secret, like I love that movie. Michael J. Fox, uh, $9.99 for that. That's a great pick. Uh, you can't go wrong with Michael J. Fox. Um, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Trying to keep my eye out, guys. Uh, Stone Cold. I haven't watched it, but I've heard from a lot of people that's one of the best keynotes. So maybe check out Stone Cold. Terminal Invasion, if you want a little Bruce Campbell action. I think that's a made-for-TV movie. All right. How long? Have I, I'm already over 20 minutes, guys. Um, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. I know you guys like these type of videos. Times Square, uh, The Train, uh, True Love. The thing about Kino is I've seen a lot of Kinos, so I feel like I can recommend, give some good recommendations for, for Kinos. Um, you got a lot of Charles Bronson, so that's good. You got The War, Elijah Wood, Kevin Costner, Virgin Witch, Whip, and the body without warning. All right, guys, we've arrived at the last page right here. And the only thing that I see here of note is Zoot Suit, which I do not have um, in the collection. But that is it, guys. I went through all the titles. Did I really go through 700 titles just now? I'm trying to make myself a little bit bigger, guys. 700 titles on sale right now from Kino Lorber. But you know what? It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You don't have to get everything at once. You know, this sale is going until July the 22nd. One thing I will say is that if you want your Kinos as fast as you can possibly get them, order within the first couple of days and you will get it. Hopefully, I'm not saying everybody will, uh, within the first week or you'll at least get a shipping notification within the first week. If you wait any longer than that, then the orders get backed up because a lot of people take part in this. And it might be two, three, four weeks before you get your order. I've noticed that. I put my order in the day that the sale starts. I usually get my order within a week, the first one. And I'll usually go back and do a second order later on in the month. And that'll always take like three or four weeks because they're backed up by that point. So that's just a little tip. Um, but thank you all for watching uh, this video. I will link the Kino sale uh, down below in the description. Lots of good titles, guys. I love Kino Lorber. I love Kino Sale Time because they just have some great stuff. Some of my favorite releases are from Kino Lorber in my collection. So I love the Kino Sale for sure. Um, and I hope that you guys take part. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all of my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time.